everyone, welcome to Little Learner's 10th Cypher Circle. And you're probably wondering what is going on? Why am I in Miss Connie's class? Well, guess what? Today is backwards day. So I decided, well, let's do it really backwards. And I'm not even going to teach you in my classroom. And since Miss Connie's not here, <laughs> I'm gonna do it back here. So we are going to have a very backwards day. I think you might be a little bit surprised on how our day is going to go. Oh, the goodbye train is coming. See you soon. Choo, choo, choo. Oh, the goodbye train is coming. See you soon. Choo, choo. Oh, the goodbye train is coming. The goodbye train is coming. The goodbye train is coming, see you soon. Choo, choo! Oh, we'll say goodbye to all the girls, see you soon. Oh, we'll say goodbye to all the boys, see you soon. Oh, we'll say goodbye to everyone. Choo, choo! Say goodbye to everyone. Choo, choo! We'll say goodbye to everyone. you? Like I said, it's backwards day. We're going to do everything backwards. So we started off with our goodbye song and we'll finish with our welcome to school song. So I'm going to show you right now the sheets that you're going to have to go along with today's circle because that's usually what I would do at the end. So I'm going to show you the pages. So the first page, my friends, is ants. That's right. And here, the ant has a number in the square. And so you have to put that amount of crumbs. Because you know what? Ants like to join us at our picnics. They like to eat the crumbs that come off our sandwiches and our cakes and our cookies at picnics. So this page, you are going to have to draw the right amount of crumbs that your ant is going to carry. So I'm just gonna put it on my board here so that I can show you. So the first one is already done for you. So that one says that that ant is only gonna carry one crumb. But what number is this, my friends? So it is a little neck and a belly like that, the number five wears a hat. So that means that this ant has to carry five crumbs. Well, he's gonna be very strong. So he's got one little hand up in the air like that. So we're gonna start and our crumbs are gonna look like a shape of a circle. So we're gonna put a circle on top there. There's one crumb but I need five. So I'm going to put more crumbs on there. So that's two, three, four, five crumbs. There you go. Whoa, he is a strong ant. He is carrying five crumbs. Good job. Now this one down here is the number four. Lots of my friends are four, or you might be turning four on your next birthday. So he is going to carry four crumbs. So remember our shape? We said they were going to be circles. So let's make our circle right there on top. And I need to have four circles. So I'm gonna go two, three, four circles. There, he has four crumbs he's carrying. Now our next ant says that he is carrying three. <gasps> if you are three, scratch your knee. Good job. So this ant is going to carry three crumbs. So we need to have three 
circles because we're using circles as crumbs. So right on top of his hand again, put on that first circle. And then we need two and three. Good job, three crumbs. Down here, this ant, go over the rainbow, slide down and run across the ground. That's our number two. That's right. So he needs to carry two crumbs. So put one right on top of his hand. So that's one and two. Good job. He's carrying two crumbs. And our last ant, ooh, he is the very strongest because he is going to carry six, six crumbs. Oh my goodness. So we're gonna put one crumb right on top of his hand, and then we need to add two, three, four, five, six crumbs. Oh my goodness, look at how strong he is. So that is your job. You need to look at the number in the square and then give your ant that many crumbs to carry. So we're going to make our crumbs are going to be what shape again? Circles. Good job. So the number is inside a square and that's how many circle crumbs you're going to have your ant carry. And up top here it says your name. So don't forget, we're going to make sure we put our name on top. That is our ant page. This next one, my friends, is one we haven't done yet. It's called color and graph. So here we have different types of bugs. We have caterpillars, bumblebees, butterflies, and ladybugs. We have four different types of bugs. So first of all, we are going to count each bug. So we're going to, let's start with our caterpillar. So we have to count all the caterpillars in our picture. So I see one, two, three, caterpillars. So down here, I'm going to look at the cat where the caterpillar is here and he's right here. And this is the number four. So we're going to go across the caterpillars. One, two, three, four squares. So there we go. So we're going to color the, you're going to color those in whatever color you want. I'm just going to use my pen. So we have to go four. So there are four caterpillars on my page. So this is our craft. Four. There we go. The next one is a bumblebee. So we're going to count our bumblebees. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. My favorite number, nine. Good job. So we have to count across here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good job. So we are going to color in all the way across to the number nine with the, with the bumblebees. job. Now our next one is a um, butterfly. So we're going to count our butterflies on our page now. So one, two. That's it. That's all I see is two butterflies. So here's our little butterfly here and we're going to go one, two. So we're going to color up to the number two. There you go. And last is a ladybug. So we're going to count how many ladybugs are in our picture. So 
So we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six ladybugs. We have to count across the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to color our ladybugs all the way up to the number six. Good job. We're going to color all the way to the number six. Now it says down here, my friends, it says which insect? That's another name for bugs. Insect. Remember we learned that when we learned the letter I? It, it, insects. That includes all bugs. So not just a caterpillar, not just a bumblebee, not just a butterfly, and not just a ladybug. All of them together are insects. So it says, which insect is the most common? Which means, which did we count the most of? Well, I see one that went way over here on our craft. And do you see what number that was? It was my favorite. It was the number nine. And when we go back to see what insect it was, it was the Bumblebee. So they are all lined up here. Bumblebee, butterfly, um, caterpillar, and ladybug. So it says, circle it. So I'm going to circle the bumblebee because it had the most. Then it said, which insect is the least common? Which one did we count the least of? And this button here, we only counted one, two of them. That was the butterfly. So again, we have a bumblebee, butterfly, um, caterpillar, and ladybug. So we are going to circle the butterfly because that's the answer to the question. So the most bugs that we saw and counted were bumblebees. And the least bugs that we saw and counted were butterflies. Good job. So that's grafting. Oh, and don't forget your name. And you get to color all of your bugs. So that's a fun one. We got to graft on that one. And this one is bug patterning. So before we do this one, I'm going, we're going to play with some bugs together. should be? Did you guess purple spider? Good job! It would be a purple spider. Good job with your patterning. Alright, now I think I'm going to use... Oh, I like these guys. This is a caterpillar. I'm going to have a blue caterpillar. to have a blue caterpillar, a blue caterpillar. I need to find another blue caterpillar. Hopefully I have another blue caterpillar. Oh no, I might have to 
change my caterpillars. to come next. Blue caterpillar, blue caterpillar, yellow beetle, blue caterpillar, blue caterpillar. What comes after two blue caterpillars? I'm yellow beetle. Good job. Yellow beetle. Okay, let's put a yellow beetle there. Nice job patterning. Now the last we're going to do together is the trickiest. Yes, it is. So let's see, what haven't we used yet? Let's do a red fly, a yellow grasshopper, and an orange caterpillar. So then I'm going to do a red fly, red fly, yellow grasshopper, and what is going to come next? Red fly, yellow grasshopper, orange caterpillar, red fly. Yellow grasshopper. What comes after the yellow grasshopper? Orange caterpillar. Good job. Let's find an orange caterpillar. Here we go. Orange caterpillar. So good job. Those are three different types of patterning that we can do. This is a single patterning with only two bugs. This is a double patterning with two bugs and this is a single pattern with three different types of bugs. Do you like bugs? I like bugs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, most bugs are very nice. The only bug that I don't like very much is a mosquito because they bite and then it makes me itchy. So spiders are really good for mosquitoes because they eat them. Actually, could be a worm. Oh, that could be a worm. And this is a butterfly and a caterpillar and a grasshopper and a ladybug. So let's see, we've got a bumblebee, um, spider, bumblebee, and what comes after the bumblebee? Oh, it would be the spider. So you're going to color all of your bugs and then you're going to cut out your bugs here and you're going to glue them in these squares in the right pattern. So after the bumblebee comes a spider. So you're going to cut out your spider here and glue it up here. And this one, we've got a, I'm not sure, like I said, I'm not sure what kind of bug that is. He's got little stripes on him, but he's not a bumblebee because the bumblebee's up there with his little stinger. Remember we sang our little bumblebee song with our stinger on the back? Maybe this one is an aphid. You're gonna see lots of those out soon. So no, those are an aphid and then a worm and a glow bug and then an aphid. What comes after the aphid? What was this? It was the worm. There's the worm right there. So we're gonna glue him right there. Good job. Then we have a butterfly. 
butterfly, caterpillar, butterfly. Oh, what comes after that? It was a, after the butterfly came the caterpillar. So we're gonna color the caterpillar and glue cut him out, put him right there in the square. Now we have a grasshopper, a ladybug, dragonfly, grasshopper. What came after the grasshopper? Grasshopper came a ladybug. Good job, a ladybug. So we're gonna glue the ladybug over there. And that is our bug patterning. So to help you out, if you, when you're coloring, if you make sure you color all of the bugs on the page the same color. So if all of your bumblebees are yellow and black, so this one and this one are both going to be yellow and black. And then maybe you'll make a purple spider. So this spider needs to be purple and this spider needs to be purple. So then when you're making your pattern, it'll be like mine, where my um, bugs were the same color in my pattern, even though they were a spider and then a dragonfly. They were the same, the spiders were the same colors and the dragonflies were the same colors. So same here, if you got your aphids, so color this aphid the same as this aphid and this worm the same as this worm and this glow bug. And then the butterflies are the same and the caterpillars are the same color and then your grasshoppers are the same and your ladybugs are the same and your dragonfly. So that even when you make your pattern, Watch when you're coloring the bugs in your row and see if you have a bug on the bottom that you need to color that same color. Excellent. So those are our three sheets for today, my friends. All right. I would like to sing a song with you about bugs. One particular bug in, we're going to do the ants. And they are going marching. So remember I said that they got those um, crumbs from our picnic. So let's see what the ants are going to do. So I want you to stand up and get yourself ready to do some marching. Do you remember how to march? Marching is when we pick our knees way up high. Plus, we're going to do some counting with our fingers. So make sure that your fingers are all away and your marching legs are all ready to go. And we're going to start with one. Are you ready? The ants go marching one by one. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one. The little one stops and he sucks his thumb. We're not really going to suck it. We're just going to pretend. And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching two by two. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two. The little one stopped and he tied his shoe. And they all went marching down to the ground and get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching three by three. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching three by three. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching three by three. The little one stopped and he scratched his knee. And they all went marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching four by four. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching four by four. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching four by four. The little one stopped and he opened the door. And they all went marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching five by five. Hurrah. Hurrah! The ants go marching five by five. Hurrah! Hurrah! The ants go marching five by five. The little one stopped and looked at a beehive. And they all went marching down to the ground 
to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching six by six. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching six by six. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching six by six. The little one stopped and picked up some sticks. And they all went marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching seven by seven. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching seven by seven. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching seven by seven. The little one stopped and looked way up to heaven. And they all went marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching eight by eight. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching eight by eight. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching eight by eight. The little one stopped and he closed the gate. And they all went marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching nine by nine. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching nine by nine. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching nine by nine. The little one stopped and he got left behind. Run and catch up. And they all went marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. The ants go marching 10 by 10. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching 10 by 10. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching 10 by 10. The little one said, oh, I'm too tired to do that again. And they all went marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, boom, boom. How was that, my friends? Did you do some great marching? And some great counting? Those ants were crazy. Good marchers. Very good. All right. It's time to watch and listen. We're going to read a book. We'll sit on the rug and use our eyes to look. We'll look at the pictures, hear the story too. I'm so glad I have this story to share with you. <gasps> the buggiest bug. The buggiest bug. Do you have six legs? Do you wiggle or do you crawl? Could you be the buggiest bug of them all? This contest is for insects. <gasps> News buzzed through the air. Bugs slithered and swarmed from here and from there. Down by the pond, young Demsley Dilly said, oh, I'm a plain bug, neither clever nor frilly. But while I won't win, I would like to see who is the buggiest bug. Who will it turn out to be? Fireflies lit up the stage with their lights. Glowworms glowed softly. Sight. A lacy white curtain hung down from the trees and billowed and swayed in the warm evening breeze. The clearing was humming with bugs of all sizes, flittery, jittery, hoping for prizes. There were more bugs than Dilly could ever have dreamed. From tiny noceums to fat termite queens. Some had great pinchers. Some had proud horns. Some looked like branches or flowers or thorns. Dilly
Billy crept closer as the biggest judge grinned. Sweet little bugs, let our contest begin. How odd, Dilly thought. Those judges have wings, but they're tied to their backs with some grosser strings. Click beetles clacked and wiggled and whirled. Crickets sang solos and swallow tails swirled. A ladybug curtsied, tumbled and flipped. The judges applauded, but they were licking their lips. The judges looked shifty, so Dilly kept squinting. Then sure enough, she spied <gasps> their fangs. They were glinting. It's a big sharp teeth. She yelled, we've been filmed, flamboozled, distracted. Those judges aren't insects, she cried. They're arachnids. The big judge hissed softly, too late for you all. It's curtain time now, and it's starting to fall. Folks, he continued, we light all of your acts, but we think we will like you much better as our snacks. The bugs froze in fear. They looked at the end. But Dilly thought quickly and shouted, friends! There's only one way to get out of this mess. Each insect must do what each insect does best. So charge, yelled the squadron of swift soldier flies and bombarded beetles took to the skies. Dilly whirled through a hole in the net. It's working, it's working. We'll beat those creeps yet. The army ants marched, and the, the manatees prayed. Keep fighting, cried Dilly, and don't be afraid. Then the stink bugs united. They gave off the worst smells. Pee we give up, the spiders all yelled. They scurried away. Hooray, cried the bugs, giving high sixes and warm fuzzy hugs. The citadels piped up, it's time for a speech. Ah, attention, my friends, he said with a screech. The contest is over, and guess what? We have a winner. Without this young damsel, we would all have been dinner. She might be young and she might be quite small, but Dilly is the buggiest bug of us all. So she thought she was too little and too plain to win the buggiest bug, but she had the brains. She used not her size, and nothing else that she had. She didn't have a stink like the stink bugs, or she didn't have claws or horns, but she used her smarts and she figured out if they all used all their special talents that they could get out. So they decided that Dilly is the buggiest bug of them all. So you are never too small to do very, very important things. So Dilly was able to save all of her friends. Good job. All right, my friends, I need you to uh, look outside. And this time we have to look this way because I'm in the back classroom. <gasps> look outside, my friends, and tell me what's the weather? What's the weather? Look outside.
all my special friends. Is it cloudy? Is it rainy? Snowy or sunny? Snowy or sunny? Let's see. All right. Is it sunny today? Ooh, this kid's going to have to move way over here. Weather bear is a special kind of bear. It's a p -p panda bear. And he has different clothes that we get to choose for him today, too. Is it rainy? It's not rainy. Oh, can't reach back over there. You gotta put it right in here. It is not rainy. Is it stormy today? Mr. Sun peeking out from the clouds. There are a little bit of clouds out there, so Miss Connie has different weather too. It's a little bit peaky. Is it windy today? It is still windy. Good job. Is it cloudy today? I think we're just going to leave that one up because these ones are dark and stormy, and it is not dark and stormy clouds today, so we're going to tuck those in there. And how about snowy? less and less snow outside because that nice warm sun has been melting it all and so we don't need it. So, my friends, let's say the weather together. Are you ready? Today's weather is sunny. This one's called partly cloudy and windy. Good job. Like I said, Weather Bear has different clothes. He's a different bear, so he has different clothes. So today, I thought he could wear hikers. Do any of you have hikers? Yeah, hikers are a special shoe that you can wear when you go to the mountains and you go on hiking trails, and they have good grippers on the bottom, but they're not for the snow. They're not for the rain. They're for, um, like I said, going on the mountain trails and things like that. So I'm going to give him hikers to wear today. They're like kind of like heavy duty runner. So he's going to wear those today. And he has long pants still. Like we said, we still have to wear our long pants not warm enough yet to wear our shorts and he's going to wear he has a sweater and look it has a pant on him on his sweater so he's going to wear his panda sweater today and just like our weather bear does not like getting sun in his eyes so he's going to wear sunglasses and his sunglasses match his sweater sunglasses because he doesn't like sun in his eyes and he's going to wear a ball cap because ball caps help to keep the sun out of our eyes so look at that it's getting warmer so he's getting to get to wear the uh, um, he's getting to wear a sweater and not having to wear a snow coat or his raincoat he gets to wear a sweater today Now we're going to do our calendar. Are you ready to do our calendar? I forgot to put our April in here. All right, but we know it's April, so let's see. Let's check out our pattern again. We were doing patterns with bumps earlier, but we've been doing patterns all month with our calendar. So let's see if we can figure out what is our next pattern in our, in our calendar. So we have a sunshine, rain, rain, 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 sunshine, rain, rain. What comes after two rains? We have two rains and then a sunshine. So there we are. We Sunshine. So we're going to tuck that in there. Oh, before we do, we 
need to see what number it is. So this is a two and a two together. What's the name of that number? Remember when it starts with a two, we say 20. And so a two together with a two is 22. Can you say it with me? 22. Good job. Go ahead and tuck it in there and we're going to make sure that we say the right name for each of the numbers. All right. Ready to help me out? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty one. 22. Good job. Give yourself a big clap. Pat your back. Give yourself a hug and a great big kiss. Mwah. Wiggle those fingers high. Wiggle them low. Wiggle them fast. Wiggle them slow. Good job. Now I think we are going to have three wiggly fingers today. So put up three wiggly fingers. We've got one, two, three over here. How many need to wiggle over here? We need five. That's too many. How about four? That's right, four wiggly fingers. Wiggle four fingers over here. And we have three plus four is seven. Seven days in a week. Seven join me and I want to see your fingers with Sunday, Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, Saturday is the last day and I know them all. Put the quiet hand if you know what day it is today. <gasps> Did you say w w Wednesday? Good job! It is Wednesday today. And Wednesday starts with the letter W. We just learned that last day. W, W, for Wednesdays. It's a W. And guess what, my friends? Miss Connie has red chalk. I never get to use red chalk because I don't have any. But Miss Connie had a red chalk, so I thought, oh, we can start with the red chalk rainbow and maybe we could borrow it and then we can always do the red. So our W is a straight line down, climb back up, straight down, back up again. Good job. That was our W we learned that last day. All of his lines are straight and strong. Next comes the letter E and it Another D, 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 d. A little circle and a long line down. And then I need. 
and then A. So that's a little circle. And a long run down. And our last letter in Wednesday is a Y. So that's a little slide and a long slide underneath. Let's to go down in the basement. That's right. Because Connie's got a little house there that she uses for her friend. So some of her go up top in the middle and some of them go down in the basement. So today is Wednesday. So let's say Wednesday's letters together. W E D N E S D A Y. Good job. Now we're going to say the sounds of those letters. So let me hear you nice and loud. What? What?